Kamal Joba. Today, I'm going to speak about something that you might even have never heard about. A proven medical technique which has been discovered in France more than 100 years ago in 1917 at the Pasteur Institute. Fallen in disuse with the discovery of antibiotics, phage therapy can indeed cure from different and several infections. And Georgia is one of the only countries in the world to still use this method professionally. Why Georgia? Are there a lot of foreigners coming here in Belize to be healed by phage therapy? How much does it cost? Is it efficient? And in which cases? Follow me to Eliava Institute in Sabutalo, which is taking care about foreigners as well as Georgian patients. Yeah, the institute has really very long traditions and history. It was uh, established in 1923 by Georgi Eliava and Felix Durel, who was one of the discoverers of the phage phenomenon. He was French-Canadian, working uh, in the Institute Pasteur. And Eliava at that time, he was the head of the Institute of Bacteriology, which was already on the place. So the government sent Georgi Eliava into uh, Institute Pasteur in order to develop some vaccines and vaccinology. Where he met uh, with Felix Durel, uh, who was already working on bacteriophages. And Eliava started to work, he became very much interested in the phages. And these two people, two scientists, became very close friends and they decided to create World Center of Bacteriophage Study and Application. Uh, Eliava invited Durell in Tbilisi. Uh, Durell have been here three times actually. In, in total, he spent uh, more than one year here. He had his own laboratory and uh, so it was great and very ambitious idea to have the World Center of Phage Study and Application. So it started in this way. As soon as it developed in Georgia, no, Georgia was the part of the Soviet Union, so it, it started from Georgia, but then it, it was spreading in, in the entire country. So, and Georgia was the leading institution in this regard, so it was the Institute of Bacteriophages. It's the, before it was named as the Institute of Vaccines and Sera. So the mainstream was uh, production of the biological products, including vaccines, diagnosticums, Sera for treatment and also identification of some pathogens for diagnostic services. But, um, but then it became that the very important activity of the Institute was bacteriophages. Bacteriophages for treatment and also for prophylactic purposes. So the Institute was serving entire Soviet Union with the biological products, including the phages. So one of the biggest consumers of the phages was Soviet Army. They were using phages for um, diarrheal diseases for prophylactic purposes. So it was very big and very strong center of uh, biological production. Before uh, discovery of the antibiotics, it was very uh, traditional and very wide, uh, widespread everywhere, not only in the Soviet Union, but uh, other countries as well, in, in uh, France, in Germany, in the US, there were several companies who were using phages for human and also animal diseases. But after the adventure or, or discovery of the antibiotics, then West forgot about uh, phages. Uh, and, but it developed in the former Soviet Union as a very strong, uh, strong remedy against bacterial infections. And of course, later antibiotics were introduced in, in the country, but the phage therapy and phages was very, really very important uh, part of the healthcare system in, in Soviet Union. We have really very substantial traditions because it, it has been started from Georgia and uh, we are trying to, to pass this information from generation to generation. So this is very unique. Uh, we have uh, people who have been even working during the Soviet time who has uh, really substantial knowledge and experience. So we are trying to pass it to the 
new generations and uh, it seems that uh, we are doing well because we have some know-how uh, how to uh, to prepare very effective phage preparations which are working against bacterial pathogens and uh, we know how to do it and uh, our experience really supporting our our everyday activities even now it's coming from the uh, previously from the Soviet Union so it's it was easy somehow for for the national authorities to give the permission for the phages yes we have permission of our production phage production we have uh, um, uh, phages are approved as a pharmaceutical agents uh, by the Georgian Ministry of Healthcare. So our phage therapy have the special license to use phages. Our pharmacy have special license to, to prepare phages for the personalized treatment uh, for patients. So it's approved and it's part of the care, standard care in Georgia. Uh, so we have several components here at the Eliava. So we have a state institution, which is Eliava Institute of Bacteriophages, micro biology and virology and and you know as uh, any scientific institute uh, we have also our struggles to get the finances of course finances uh, for the state institution is not very high and we are time by time participating in the international competitions and grants we are writing grants participating in the competitions in order to get some uh, uh, some additional funding also, we have very close collaboration with our uh, partners outside of, of uh, the country, in the EU, in the US. So the way we have quite a strong relations and collaboration with our collaborators and partners. Uh, also, very interesting component that we have a foundation here, which we cre created. Uh, so institutes, employees of the institute created foundation. And then foundation is a uh, founder of the spin-off company. So it's a big, big family. And the companies are trying to commercialize the products or services which are created by the institute. So it's, it's quite a big, big family which are mainly focused on the phage study and application in the different, uh, different directions. We have several varieties of phages. These are phages that work on a wide range of bacteria. We call these standard phages that kill Staphylococci, Streptococci and many other very common bacteria. However, there is a group of bacteria on which these standard phages, the so-called wide range of phages, do not work. We have excellent ways of designing individual phages, so-called autophages, for specific bacteria that are not included in the wide range of standard phages. Phages work on specific diseases, especially chronic diseases caused by bacterial infections. Phages work against these bacteria. However, in addition to the pure antibacterial effect, phages have other function mechanisms, for instance, anti-inflammatory effects. This is a very interesting function mechanism. The main advantage of phages over antibiotics is that phages selectively kill only pathogenic bacteria. They do not negatively affect non-pathogenic bacteria. This is a very big advantage. I saw a report on the French TV a few years ago that was talking about bacteriophages and phage therapy and I found out that it was only in Georgia. Okay, it was a very interesting uh, topic. And then I checked a little bit and I found that nobody from the Western countries dared to come to this faraway country that nobody really knows. So I had the idea to open an uh, incoming travel agency in Georgia and to help Western citizens to be healed, to be treated with phages in Georgia. Mostly they come from France as I'm French, from Germany, from Canada, from Netherlands. Phage therapy can heal most of the bacterial diseases. It can be urinary, pulmonary disease, infection, it can be osteitis, it can be uh, anywhere on a wand or whatever. Just in France, 15,000 people die per year because of multi-resistant bacteria 
and 40,000 people are amputated because of multi-resistant bacteria. I could say, for what I can see in Georgia, for the results I can see in Georgia, that 80% could be healed. Uh, the patients we bring to Georgia are heavy patients who need a very, very uh, customized service. Uh, it's Georgian patients, they come here, they are treated in a few days for a very recent infection. Western patients, if they come, this is because they, they have no other way, no other solution in their countries. So they are infected for years, decades sometimes, they've been operated sometimes 40 times and without any results. So they become very heavy patients. So for them, of course, they need much more customized services, much heavy services. So it can be more expensive for them than for Georgian for this reason. So uh, anyway, it's much, much cheaper than antibiotics because these heavy patients have to take very heavy antibiotics for decades. That cause I've got, for example, patients, patients with cystic fibrosis, they take 2,000 euros antibiotics per month. For a couple of years now, World Health Organization is constantly and strongly warning about antibiotic use and resistance, even going as far as to say that we are now reaching the end of an era. By 2050, according to the specialist, we could reach the same situation as the one in 19th century, where the slightest infection could be fatal. Phage therapy can therefore appear as the solution and is developed here in Georgia.